Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I want to show you one quick function within the DAX which will help you produce the output from two different tables. So what do I have over here is one table which is country let's say China, India, Russia, UK and USA and we have the products let's say they are either selling or importing these products. And what we want to do is we want to combine all the rows from second table to the first table. So what does it mean that China should have all these values, then India should have all these values like for example over here, China having all these products. So whenever you have such requirement where you have the first table as a base table and you want to combine or create new rows based on the second table, then you can follow this. So that way for each of this value you will have all these values over here as you can see the value is getting repeated for all the products that is present in the second table. So this data I have created simply by having the enter data option I think which is over here create a new table by typing or pasting the comment. So just for this scenario and one quick information about all of my Power BI related videos that I am keeping all of my videos over here as you can see. Uh, the video title is present here that way you don't have to search all my videos on my youtube channel and easily you know uh, get the video title and the link over here and some categorization which i'm keeping like difficulty level or the topic category i'm trying to maintain with that so that way searching is easy you can bookmark it and use it or reference it whenever you need for all the how-to videos or the projects that i have placed it also I have given the link for my data sets folder as well if you want uh, my project related data sets which is present over here. So we am giving the Google Drive link which has much more uh, a lot of different data sets that I have collected over a period of time and keeping it at one single place. Okay, With that let's go back to the Power BI. Alright, so for that what I'll do is I'll go to the tables, right, and uh, in this what I will do is I will click on the new table and uh, new table I will call it 1.1 because one tip this new table I already created so 1.1 uh, new table. So if you want uh, this workbook as well, the, the where I'm keeping all my scenarios related to this tips and tricks. Then that is also present the instruction how to get it is also presented in the description okay so over here what we will going to do is so we have the new table that we are creating and we will use the function which is called as cross join so cross join is the function that we can then use so we will use the country that is table number one and our second table is the products table right so that is the only thing that we need to do to finally get the output. So now if you see India, China, Russia, UK, then again India, China, Russia, UK, again India, China. So basically for each value of the country, it is basically populating the or cross joining the value from the second table. Such, just such a simple function, but it gives us much more, you know, solve this problem of creating new rows that is based on the new. All right, so that was one way of using the cross joining, but you also have an option by going into the transform data within the power, within using the power query, you can also do the cross join. So that is something which I have shown it in one of my previous videos as to how you can cross join use within the power query. That way you don't have to create the table in the front end, but in the back end. I will provide the link of that in the description. That way you can experiment with that. It will going to produce the same output and uh, and that basically, you know, gives us the another way of how we can create this table. So I hope you enjoyed it uh, and probably it has solved the problem that, uh, you know, you were having and uh, hope you got the required output with that. Thank you so much. I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.